In this video, I will demonstrate how to perform the t-test to sample assuming equal variances. This test will compute a t-value between means for two independent measures when the variances for each group are equal. This is also known as the student's t-test or the t-test for independent measures or unpaired samples. So in this case, we have data on two independent groups of individuals. We have an IQ score for males and an IQ score for females. So what we're going to attempt to do is determine if there is a significant difference in IQ score between these two independent groups. So in order to run this comparison, we need to click the data menu and then click data analysis. And then in our menu here, we need to look for t-test to sample assuming equal variances. We highlight that and then click OK. Our first step is to input the, the data range for variable number one. So in this case, we'll do males first. So click our ref edit button, highlight the entire column, including the label, either hit enter or ref edit button. And then we do that same thing for the second variable, in this case, female, including the label, hit enter or the ref edit button. We then uh, need to click the box called labels and that will include the labels for our two variables in the output table that we get. We then need to decide on our alpha level. In this case, we're going to test this hypothesis at the alpha level of 0.05. And then we next need to select the output range. In other words, where uh, on our spreadsheet are we going to put the output. So we're going to So we're going to choose uh, E2 here and we're going to put the output. So we click the ref edit button again. Okay, and once that is complete, we'll go ahead and click the OK button. And so the first thing we can look at here is we have our, our two variables labeled male and female. And here are the mean scores for each of the two variables, so 100 and 101.5. And the next thing we can look for is the actual T statistic that was calculated. In this case, it was a minus 0 0.105. And then we can look at the P value associated with that T score. At the one-tailed level, it's a 0.45, and at the two-tailed level, it's a 0.91. So in this case, because these p-values are not less than 0.05, we would uh, accept the null hypothesis and say there is no significant difference between the two groups of scores. And so the p-value is greater than 0.05. So hopefully you've learned something from this video, and good luck using this technique on your